this is my uh, neighbor at the truck stop in Texarkana. He's uh, from Canada too, so he's driving a Kenworth W900 uh, with an oversize 13.8 uh, load. Also stuck here uh, till uh, till Monday. My truck is over there, and nothing moved. Everything is perfect. I uh, kept stopping every couple of hours, you know, checking my uh, uh, load. I still got all the straps, all the chains, and I'm really glad I did this. You know, really helps keep it together, as they say. You know, I moved my flags because the traffic was so crazy in those big towns, uh, you know, like San Antonio and Dallas. I moved them to the very end because at first I put them over here and they were always like hidden somewhere, you could not see them. So I did this with a bungee cord, see? And this way it's really, uh, you know, it's hard to miss this. And then before I left the truck stop this morning, uh, I even added another, uh, secret message over there you know because I have flags in here and I thought see everything is dirty because uh, it was raining pretty hard I did a long detour here I think that's good actually that's legal in uh, Quebec if you go with an oversized load to Quebec if you have this they will give you uh, a big ticket you know in Quebec only this uh, qualifies as a uh, over oversized load. What is this? It's chips. Say? Potato chips. Potato chips. No thanks. No no no. No no, no I'm no. okay. No thanks. I don't like I don't like eating this. Uh, okay, I'll take one. Oh, you want no, you sell them or what? I'm gonna give you a bag. Oh okay. Cool. Thank tonight, you. Tonight. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Merry Christmas. And so yeah, everything is cool. I got some chips in here. Cool. <sighs> so the bad news is that uh, today is Saturday, December 24th. And of course tomorrow we cannot work, even though we want to, but we can't. So, but also they thought I would be here faster and they need to reorder my uh, Arkansas permit, you know, and um, Arkansas permit office is closed on Monday. <laughs> so I'm sitting here till Tuesday. And only on Tuesday my dispatch will be able to to uh, order the permit. And it'll take a few hours. Um, and then I'll have to wait for the escort. So anyway. Uh, in fundraising news. And that's the link over there. Go fund me. GoFundMe.com slash heavy dash haul dash TV dash monster dash truck. That's what we have now. Six hundred eighty-nine dollars Canadian. But because I set up this only later, uh, people also send. Uh, things by PayPal and so far that's 276 bucks Canadian for the total of 965 so at this rate it'll take 51 day to reach the goal of 50,000 and I also wanted to make a comment uh, some people forget to indicate what truck they vote for uh, but those that do and like 90% of people write, write down in the comment when they send the money 
Uh, I would say that, like, in, unofficially, number one favorite now is um, Freightliner Argosy, and number two is uh, Western Star, and number three is uh, Peterbilt. And some some people are so, uh, you know, crazed about P Peterbilts that they just say, hey, any Peterbilt. One guy said he'll give me extra money, and I'll get a, if I get a Pete 389. <laughs> no, that's just too too big, you know. But so yeah, number one Argosy, number two Western Star, number three um, uh, Peterbilt 567. Now surprisingly, Coronado got zero votes, zero. Like I'm serious. Freightliner Coronado, nobody likes the truck. Maybe people from, um, like some viewers from overseas, they're not familiar with the model. But you know, it does look like a big square hood. It looks like a classic truck. And But that's it. So yeah, Western Star, Argosy, and the, just like the three that I was thinking about. Now, in other things to consider here, and I've been doing some research because one guy wrote a comment saying that these uh, glider kits are going to, expire in 2021 and I did I googled it for Canada and turns out there's some kind of a legislation is coming out here uh, over there north of the border uh, about making these gliders um, illegal but I don't know would that be like grandfathered because you know you spend so much money getting a glider kit now okay you have you know four years well 17 18 19 20 20 you have five years but what if then they adopt some kind of a crazy law and then, like, you know, you, you don't want to drive the truck for 20 years, right? You probably want to sell it. And what if it's illegal and nobody will, will buy it, you know? It's like buying a house in, a, in an area that's constantly flooded, you know? So I, uh, I left a message for that uh, salesman that sells glider kits and I asked him about this. I said, do you know anything? Like, what's the legal situation? Because... You don't want to spend all this money and then uh, get stuck with a useless truck that nobody wants, you know. But of course, for five years, it'll definitely be better on fuel. It'll have much less problems with uh, electronics and repairs because there's no emission systems to break to break down. Uh, oh, actually, wait a second. And I forgot about the truck. I was thinking, which make I'm, I'm forgetting? Uh, Volvo. Like, quite a few people also mentioned Volvo as a favorite, but I would say uh, it was uh, behind the Peterbilt. Kind of like in the sales statistics, Volvo is at the bottom. And one guy said Mac Titan, duh, which is not on the list. And I did email uh, the uh, sales guy who sold me this truck just to confirm. I said, uh, is Mac Titan still offered only as a day cap, or is it finally possible to get a factory installed sleeper? And he said, no. No sleepers uh, available through the factory. Uh, you'd have to get it, get it from a third-party company, and uh, that would uh, increase the cost substantially. That's what the sales guy said. So, no Max. Mac, Mac, Mac is out. So Peterbilt, Western Star, Volvo, Argosy. Those are the main contenders. Um, and the truck stop is half empty, or. Some people would say have full. You see, all normal people are at home. And Uncle Sergey is stuck in Texarkana, 5,000 light years away from home. But it's okay, you know, I got my camera, I got my truck, but I really want to get to that uh, Dell laptop so I can start doing some creative things with movies you know like I'm getting tired of doing this non-stop videos and then you saw that g guy came over gave me some chips <laughs> now he's part of the movie <laughs> well happy holidays uh, Merry Christmas everybody uh, thanks for watching and thanks for uh, contributing ciao Well, it does look cool, if I say so myself.